This video is to help you prepare for your upcoming MCA inspection if you are an owner of an under 15 metre fishing vessel. My name is Charles Blythe, I am the safety officer for the NFFO. I'm also previously an MCA surveyor. I recommend you use tools such as the safety folder to help you prepare for your MCA inspection. The requirements for an under 15 metre inspection have changed a lot in the last year. You are now required to have an in-water inspection, a stability assessment and an out-of-water inspection. To help you prepare, I highly recommend you download the latest version of the aid memoir that the surveyor will use on the day. This is freely available on the government website. Paperwork is now a key part of any MCA inspection. You will be required to present your risk assessments, your servicing certificates and your maintenance records and any other related documentation which is relevant to your vessel. The safety folder is a great free tool to help you manage your paperwork all in one location. It is a convenient site to help store and maintain your risk assessments as well as any working procedures and the expiry dates of your life-saving equipment. All crew are now required to have a fisherman's work agreement whilst working on board a UK fishing vessel. This will help document your terms and conditions, your pay and your welfare. The MCA have provided the industry with model work agreements which can be found if you search MGN 583. If you have lifting gear, it is a legal requirement to have a maintenance and inspection regime for all of the equipment on board your vessel. You should have records to hand of all of the times you have inspected or replaced any piece of the system. When preparing for your in-water inspection, the vessel needs to be presented in a depart port condition. That means your fuel tanks are full and so are your water tanks and any clutter on board the vessel should be removed. Safety equipment should be left in the stowed position. It is a great idea to have a grab bag ready to take should the unthinkable happen. The MCA will want to witness a stability assessment at the in-water inspection the MCA have recently adjusted their policy for stability, so it is worth contacting your local marine office to see which stability assessment applies to your vessel. Hello, I'm Ben Squire, owner of uh, Oceanic Drifter Fishing. We operate uh, six commercial fishing vessels out of the south coast of the UK. It really does pay to get prepared for your MCA survey. Obviously, uh, really important for safety for both the boat and the crew. You are now required to have an out of water inspection once every five years or one year after your in water inspection. The inspector is likely to want to see evidence of maintenance of the hull condition, the engine and the shaft and bearings. The MCA inspectors are there to help so don't be afraid to ask them questions about the best practice of maintaining safety on board your vessel. There is a wealth of information on the government website which can help you further prepare for your inspection. I hope you found this video useful and that your next inspection goes smoothly.